What's going on y'all? It's turning wheels. Today we're going to be playing some spin tires. We got this nice big 2500 Dodge Ram. It's white on white. It's got the blue suspension. Even the winch is even colored blue for some reason. It's got these nice off-road tires. And then my little opponent, uh, that slash friend, is going to be driving the K5 Blazer. It kind of reminds me of like OJ Simpson's getaway vehicle. That's what Planet 4x4 is going to be driving. That's his vehicle of choice. Might be his first vehicle to drive in life. But uh, we're going to get out on the trail and see what we can accomplish today. So we'll spin this camera around and get into the show. I really like this Dodge. I'm not a real big Dodge guy, but this one's very nice. This one's very, very nice looking. Go ahead and continue to spin the camera angle. We got it four high right now. Parking brakes off. And as you can see, we're starting out. The Blazer can accomplish a lot of things. It is just crawling up that little hill. Yeah, that little blazer. That blazer's going places now, as you can see, yeah. Goodness. Well, we're going to go over here and see what we can get into over here. Hopefully he can make it down good. Both of these vehicles got solid axles. They don't got to worry about independent, you know, braking and stuff. So, that's always good. make it up to this and four high pretty easy. Heck they even colored the differential blue a little weird. This thing's a little bouncy. Now the only bad thing about Dodgers I can think of is that they don't know how to make transmissions. They they make some of the best coming diesel motors but they cannot make a transmission to save your life. Now Ford they can't really make an engine to save their life. They make a good body and chassis. Chevy, they make a good engine, good transmission. They just can't make a tie rod on the 2500 to save their life. Well, let's see if he caught up to us back here. It's like a little pit area. Hopefully he steers clear of the rocks and mud. That thick stuff. There we go. Try to go through the little middle middle area. It reminds me of a spot I used to go mudding at in real life, where there was like mud on both sides and a little trail area to go through the middle. And people would always tear it up, and you'd end up like on the side of that like little ditch area. It's kind of sketchy. I hope we don't break nothing on the Dodge, and I, I seriously doubt we'll break anything on that Blazer because those Blazers back in the day were just built, you know, crazy tough. Dodge, I don't know. This Dodge looks cool, but I don't, I don't think they're built, built very good, honestly. Got the little towing mirrors. I can't figure out how do you, you know, fold them down. They're just the way they are right now. Got all these little stickers on the back glass. Kind of junky, in my opinion, but not my truck so you can do whatever. Go up this little a few rocks right here. A little incline. Oh, I'm taking a little bit of damage. This dodge is already having a rough day. this little dip right here. Look, there's a tree that fell down. There we go. Uh, it kind of looks like nightfall is going to hit pretty soon, but hopefully we don't need no headlights because we didn't pick up the light bar. It looks kind of silly. They, the only way to have the light bar on here is to have that like 90 style roll bar. That's the only thing I don't like about this truck. That blazer is flexing pretty good. I don't know if this truck has that type of suspension to get over that. Flex over it. Looks like he might be stuck on a branch. We'll go over it before high. I'm going to 
see, I'm gonna see if there's another way to go around it because I don't think this truck has as good a suspension as that one. So we're gonna go down this little path down here. It takes a second to engage in automatic mode, switching gears. But you should never go from reverse to drive really quick. It's not good on the transmission. You know, slow down to fully zero. There we go. That angle ain't very good on that hill over there. Oh my gosh, looks like there's like a little creek across. sure if he can make it. I will think that thing's a little bit more powerful than this. Got a, that one's got a huge motor in it. An old carburetor. Very powerful to say the least. We'll go ahead and back up. We might have to go on this little trail on the side. There we go. Throw it back in gear. Hard right. Now we're making it. This truck does have some pretty good tires and good grip, so it ain't struggling. The differential ain't on Dodges ain't too bad. I think a lot of them I notice have limited slip though. They're not positive track. It's one bad thing. Shifts are very good right there. There we go. Now we're finally in third gear. We'll try to hug this little top part. There we go. I'm not surprised we didn't take no damage going up that. Not really. There we go. Good on this part. Ooh. Might hit this tree. Oh yeah. I hit that tree. It took quite a bit of damage. I'm about to try to turn and make this turn. This Dodge will have the best turning radius. I mean it's a pretty good sized truck. It's got a long bed. Not an eight foot bed, but you know, it's got a pretty good sized bed, probably six and a half. Let's see if I can go around this other tree. Hopefully avoid it and hopefully avoid the river. Or ocean. That's not really a river. It's more of an ocean. Looks like he might have got, got to take a little dip. A little dip in the water. A little cold. Ooh. This reminds me of San Luis Pass or Galveston. Cool area, right on the beach. Front tire is just grabbing traction. I well, know the back, the rears are just going slow. I hope he can make it right here. I'll try to follow him going up it. I'm not too sure if we can go up that little embankment. That looks fun right there. That'll be a lot of fun if we can make it. See if we can make that. Now he's gonna crawl up it. I'm probably just gonna go in automatic and hope for the best. That'd be pretty interesting. <laughs> I'll try to go around to the right over here. Oh, I'm trying to see a clear of him. Go. I'm not too sure if we can make it. We're going to give this dog some power. There we go. At least we put the programmer on it. I think it was like Bully Dog or, or Diablo, maybe. I don't think he can make it. We're struggling a little bit. Yeah, we're struggling. 
driving an automatic. I try not to winch, try to just make it. But we are struggling. Try to go up this little side path. So hopefully we can make it up this. I know my disc is like a little weird right here on the front. Oh man. Maybe we can go on this left side over here. Try to climb it. Let's try to get our let's try to get a running start. We're gonna try that real quick. Get a really good running start. Now we're gonna get a running start. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's give it our best shot. Second gear. Come on, Dodge transmission chip. Get into better gear. It's just not shifting. Stacked a little funny. And again, I'm not too familiar with the Dodges. The front diff is just not engaging. I'm turning my tires side to side and it just will not engage. There it goes. Spin. Spin. There we go. The blazer might be in my way just a little bit. I'll try to go around them. There we go. I'm breaking loose. I'm breaking loose. Let's go. I think I'm giving this dodge all it's got. I don't think it's got much more left in her. There we go. Come on. Alright, we'll try to back up one more time and gun it. If we don't make it, we might just have to give up. Come on, Dodge. I have a little bit of faith in you with this Cummins engine. Come on. Go. On a little bit of an incline. Loud clunk right there. Yeah, I'm stomping on the gas and it's just not rolling. We're gonna have to get a tow truck. I'm gonna have to get this thing on a flatbed and get it towed back to the shop and get it worked on. All right, y'all. So we'll get an update and get this thing on a tow truck and hold it back to the repair shop to a Dodge technician. Alright y'all, so we recovered the Dodge transmission's toast. It's a typical Dodge, they don't know how to make the transmission. Uh, as you can see, we got Planet 4x4 in the Bronco. We had to call uh, Uncle Logan and get him, get him to uh, come pick us up and bring us back to the shop. Pick up the Ford, we had to find the keys. The keys were gone. They are supposed to be hung up on the wall. Uh, we got that taken care of. We got the Ford, we had to go find the trailer. And uh, we rented the trailer, so we had to bring it over here, find the Dodge. It was really dark, so we had to use that light bar on the Ford. We got the Dodge loaded up with the ramps. It was very easy to use this trailer. So we're going to haul this trailer and truck back to the shop at the barn and get it worked on. And then uh, Uncle Logan's going to help us out, you know, getting it all repaired. And hopefully we don't need a Dodge technician to get this thing back on the road. Alright, y'all, so we'll head back to the shop. I mean, that Dodge, he just looks horrible right now with all that damage. It used to be a good looking truck. Uh, this Ford, we'll see how it hauls. It hauls pretty good. We're in four high right now. There we go. This truck's got the big gooseneck hitch. Nice light bar. I think this truck is the 6.7 power stroke, or power stroke, what I call it. Right now it hauls pretty good. This truck kind of drives like a boat, though. It's a, it's a Ford. Drives like a boat. There we go. So 
So hopefully the truck don't come off the trailer. That would not be good. We try to steer clear of obstacles and stuff like that. But we'll we'll keep checking on the truck every you know every few moments, make sure it's still on there good. We're hung up on something. We go in fourth gear and you're hauling. Like ice road truckers except for in the mud. Tires are swinging. Maybe we should get a little blazer. They look pretty, uh, pretty aggressive and they're pretty rugged. And you can see the way he's driving that thing. It looks like it'll hold up to some uh, views. I'm gonna have to make a video on that one. I'll try to steer clear that limb, that branch. Try to stay out of the rut right here. Try to get back on the main trail. Oh, might have caught myself in the mud a little bit. But this this forward somehow making it. Try to hug this right side. There we go. Trucks and trailers a little bit angled. We'll try to go on this side over here. Hopefully everything's tied down good. We double checked it. There we go. Try to get back to camp safely. The barn. Use all the tools that we have. This thing in good gear. That dock looks fine in the back. We're going to be it just fine. On the board. On the gooseneck. Oh, got a little airborne on that front end. I don't know. A little weird. We'll try to focus going up this little pass. Make sure we can go on it. A little slow. Make sure we go on it safely. This truck and trailer is going to flex going across this. There we go. We try to cross this little creek. I don't look too deep. We try to go across it kind of. There's a little bit of speed, not too fast. trees and limbs on the other side. We'll try to steer clear of them. This trailer might go kind of low. I'm not too sure. Yeah, so that truck's going to pull it down. There we go. Now we're good. Just get it in good gear. Let's get it going. Struggling a little bit, but we're making it. Come on. The big forward with the lock and hub. Never get a Ford because the lock and other and they don't make good engines. Somehow this truck engine is somehow still going. This thing is just chugging like a train. It's getting kind of dark. I think we'll turn on the headlights. There we go. I think we're blinding him in the uh, laser. Alright, let's see if he'll start going. I'm going to start going up across this. 
I think once we get back on land, it'll hold pretty good. They have like a glowing little light and they look kind of silly. And it says F-150. That's how you know. That's how the tow truck can find you at night. With that little glowing little light. It's pretty stupid. I guess if you're a Ford owner, you'll opt for that option or whatever. If you the light bar on, it's kind of hard to tell where the, uh, the other side of the little creek is. There we go. Hopefully we'll see clear that branch that's in our way right there. Try to get over this in third gear. Alright, right, y'all, we got it back to the barn. We're going to get it fixed. It's probably a new Dodge transmission made from Hemi or something. Uh, let us know if there's any other vehicles you want us to do, review or test or challenge, anything like that. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and turn them wheels. I'm out.